Hello diecast collectors. Today I have some oddball just green light different stuff here. This here is the 1983 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. This is a garbage pail kit. I uh, I talk about how many they have series so if you just get into into a hobby this is series number one so that means that they're probably going to be a lot more series maybe of this vehicle or these types of um, garbage pail kits there's it says collect all six stickers and vehicle combinations so I really haven't seen any of the other vehicles yet I just happened to pick this one up and I'm just interested maybe I'm not really in the car but uh, I'm interested in the car especially that Monte Carlo there let's see if that hood opens up get in there with the knife okay so there's your engine. Put that down. I guess I'll get this card out real quick. I like um the delivery, I guess it's okay. It's a racing delivery. I picked it up mainly just because of the of the car casting of the car itself so I guess this is a sticker of some sort so series one and this is two of six and it's just a sticker so you can kind of see another vehicle a couple other vehicles what they look like so this might be a series that I might go after and collect all of them I don't know it depends on the vehicle so it's a uh, painted headlights turn signals rubber tires metal bottom That's number two seven two seven eight three And next is 1967 Chevrolet Camaro. Now this paint job is in the in the Fairfield Collectible magazine. It always looks kind of weird. But when you get it out of the package pretty nice looking car so we'll get it opens on this one yes it does I've well, got the Chevy orange motor painted with a with a uh, air cleaner not a bad little casting So if you're into the racing deco, which I am, that's pretty different. Next, I have this 1965 Shelby GT350. It looks like a beautiful car. The turtle wax one. Number 1,344. Let's get the hood open. Oh, yeah. So some of these hoods open wide. Some just barely, barely opens. 
And if you try to, sometimes their paint, when they're painted, sometimes the paint kind of sticks to them, so you don't want to break them. Man, this is a beautiful car right here. The wheels could have been a little bit more detailed, a little bit different in the back. Maybe the, the chrome didn't get it chromed all the way. Beautiful car, though. See, once you open a hood, sometimes, sometimes hoods don't want to go back down. They don't lay back down. So no mirrors, but uh, very nice, very awesome looking car. And then I have a 71 Jeep, Jeepster Commando, Commando. So I tried to do these in themes, but this was kind of hard. These are just a bunch of kind of little odds and ends cars that just need to be opened up. So this is number 401. So no opening hood. Love the little hood scoop on it. Very nicely. It's different. Get the rack on there. Painted headlights. I didn't even painted headlights. You can just barely see a little console in there. Just different. So, I think out of the pick, out of my favorite pick would probably be the Mustang. Cause that's an awesome car. Just some different series of green light. Again. Okay, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you on uh, on your next video. Happy hunting. See ya.